Hi, it's me Burbingish and welcome to the Elis progression. If you don't know who Elis is, she's the person who leads the Knives of Elis guild, which is responsible for all the Voidwalkers ever in Deepwoken. So if you hate Voidwalkers, then you can blame that one on her. Well, anyways, for her build, I'm making an assassination focused build, which means that all I have to do to kill someone is hit Control plus M1, and then I win the game. It's, it's just that easy, bro. You know, kind of a toxic build since they literally don't get to fight back, but it, it's kind of funny though. And since she's like the leader of the Voidwalkers, I kind of can't just not go Voidwalker. That would be kind of weird, so yeah, I'm kind of forced to do that. So for this build, I'm going to be going 90 Agility and 90 Strength so I can get Million Ton Piercer for maximum damage output. Ah, there was a fly in my face. No. Since I'm using a Stiletto for this trial, it's just going to take so long, dude. Typically, I use a sword, but ow. but since I'm using daggers, I figured, you know what, might as well challenge myself a little bit. So my plan for this trial is just that I'm going to dump everything into agility. And once I uh, once I can't dump any more into agility, I'll just go into strength. Let's see what we get for our first cards. Oh, speed demon. Uh, Risky moves. No, I'm going to go tap dancer. And I'll fold that one. All right, golem. I don't know why, I think I've been kind of kind of off my game with that golem. Maybe it's because I just woke up, so I might be a little groggy. Let's see what's next. I forgot, honestly. Oh, pressure. I wonder if I should use my crit. Would that actually deal more damage than this M1? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I would assume the crit does more damage because, I mean, <laughs> it does a lot of damage to players. So it would probably apply to mobs too, right? Uh, I just realized <laughs> fighting angels with the stilettos is gonna be a pain. Oh, there we go. Since this is an assassination build, I'm actually gonna be able to use the 20 assassination talents that Agility has. Observation? That's good. Uh, I guess I'll take I'll take kickoff. Why not? Ooh, blood iron. Oh wait, isn't this angels? Yep, it's angels. I hope they can't parry daggers. Alright, come on. Ooh. Crit. They can't parry my crit, so this is gonna be easier than I thought it would be. There we go. Hey, come here. You know what would have been useful in this situation? If I had that one, like, one dagger talent that just auto grip with crit. I barely ever see that in use though. I don't know why that's a talent to be honest. Uh, let's see, any assassination talents? I mean, that's kind of an assassination talent, but I'll take fast blade. I should just burn loot skipper. Oh, tap dancer and hidden blade. Hidden blade is probably like the most necessary one. Uh, dash? Eh, I'll, I'll take it, why not? I mean, I'm probably not gonna have a lot of not gonna have a lot of mantras anyway, so might as well have that. Oh crap. Enforcer with a dagger. Dude, is this Enforcer dead yet? I know I deal like 11 damage and all, but come on. Alright, finally. And 75 agility, which means I'm gonna have to uncap. I actually have not uncapped agility ever in deep Woken, since i've never had like the i never had to the saying Ooh, cheap shot i'll take it uh let's see any more i'll take hidden blade hidden blade just opens up like the entire assassination tree i'm pretty sure all right well i guess i just start dumping into strength what's next sand golem now that i think about it this is actually the first time i'm going daggers on a progression build yeah i really have not gotten daggers in a long time I think I've only ever made one during like the game's release. And also I just didn't want to go daggers because it was like, it just had like a really negative view upon it. So you know, if you were like a dagger user, you were just like the scum of the earth to other people. Oh, there you go. That took a while. Uh, let's see. Okay, loot skipper, get out, get out of here. And I'll take now you see me because stealth is actually going to be important for me. Oh, strong left. Uh, bulldozer. Am I ever gonna be flourishing people as, uh, like flourishing people as daggers? 
I'll take it anyways. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright. Dodge. Okay, alright. I was kind of nervous there because I had never fought the final trial of anything but a sword. I mean, hey, it worked out pretty well, so... Let me just dump these final points into strength. There we go. Alright, I suppose the first thing I should do is probably go get my training equipment. I'll grab a... Honestly, I really don't need much training gear. But I'll grab a training vest, sure. I'm only ever going to start investing into that after Shrine of Order. So, I kind of bought it a little early. I didn't even need to visit here, to be honest. Actually, I think the first thing I want to do is uncap my agility so I can get to the 90 agility requirement for all the assassination talents first. Which means I'm going to have to go to Etris, was it? I'm pretty sure it was Etris that had like the guy on the tall mountain and whatnot and I need to like talk to him or something. Once I get my dust lunge talents, I can actually assassinate people. Because nobody, like, nobody is going to stand still while you just like crouch and walk behind them. Oh. Dagger v dagger fight. Oh, I have not used daggers in so long. This is weird. I do like the block break, just procking 20 times in a row, though. That one's nice. There we go. Not, not even a chest? Wow, I really just killed that guy for no reason, then. If I'm correct, the guy should be, like, up there somewhere. And that's a pretty high distance up. See if I can make it by myself. Okay, I think I've already hit a dead end. Yeah, no, I can't I can't make it up this by myself. Unless I have like strong leap or something. Do I have the requirements? I do have the requirements. Let me try. Let's see if I can get strong leap from this. Ooh, showstopper. That's pretty good. Uh Champion's Regalia. Yeah, I'm just gonna burn that. And then precise wing, that's good. Uh ooh, strongly. Now I could probably make it up there. There we go. Imagine if it was just like the wrong mountain I climbed. Imagine if it was like that one over there. Oh, what <laughs> oh this is the wrong mountain. Dude, he's all the way over there. I don't have a glider, I can't can't really do much about this oh wait hold on i'm just, i can just go craft a glider like right now perks of being a void walker you just have like a little pocket base uh sell that i need a piece of wood and two cloth sticks cloth and then go here craft all right there we go that was a perfect landing actually Strong leap. And there he is. Ah. You have taken an oath, I see. What? I have not taken an oath. I don't know what you're talking about. I am just fresh out of trial. Is there anything you can teach me? If you value your life, you will run out. I can tell you you are I I can tell you are fast. Run far from this place if you don't want to find yourself in the maw of the second Saltorian horror. Well, I mean, that's cool and all, but I I just came here for the agility uncap. Here we go. Nice. Uh, that was a whole two, two increases. And also, wow, this is just a really nice view. Just the entirety of Etrus without any like fog. Hold on, let me just. Yeah, that's a nice screenshot. All right, now how do I get down from this place? This is a lot of fall damage. I feel like some of you guys might be wondering, hey, Burbingish, what type of oaf are you gonna go for, Elis? Since you know the actual oaf that she would have but it's not released yet. And my answer to that is, I'm gonna get Oathless, just so I can wait until the actual Oath comes out, but still have, like, the benefits of having an Oath, you know? Like, the wild card slots and, like, the extra HP. So yeah, this is gonna be my first ever time getting Oathless in Layer 2. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Let me just walk over here, you'll forget all about it. Wow, that was some nice acrobatics. 
Oh, hey, it's one of the new towers. Apparently, a good helmet drops from there, and I actually have like zero armor pieces since I didn't kill anything yet. So I might want to just check that out to see if I can get anything good. Yeah, so there's guards here. I feel like an assassin build would actually be really good for just farming these. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Dude, did you see how long that assassinated them for? That was like the hidden blade made that last so long. I just completely wailed on that NPC right there. Dude, they are literally just facing away from me. This is so easy. It's good practice for my uh, assassinations though. Throw them in the water there. I feel like an actual hitman. Oh crap, I was not a very good stealthy person. Not a very good assassin. <laughs> there we go, leave him in the water. And now there's only one at the very top, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. No, there's actually two at the very top. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> there we go. I don't want to fight on this awkward 2x2. Two two. Ooh, armor piece. Actually, could use that. Alright, and two down. Brown overcoat. A stiletto. <laughs> I have a slightly better stiletto now. This one has 4% weight on it. Blindfold. I'm not blind, Sierra. Oh, what the? Yo, I'm going down. Oh, hey, another chest. Ooh, boots. I wonder if I got any XP from that. One, two, three, four. Wow, that was... That was a comical amount of HP, I mean XP, for one of these events. What was, what was that like? I was, I was at like 12 points. That was like 8 points, 9 points of agility right there from one of these bandit events. And it's probably just because I'm like level 8 or something. There's no way these guys give so much like XP. <laughs> this might actually be the strat. Early game farming strat. I'm just gonna wipe out these bandit guys. This is perfect for an assassination build. I love they made it so that it's so easy to assassinate them since they're just all facing away from you. There you go. Oh, did they see me? They saw me. Wow, what hit me? Did the debris from their strong left hit me? Go in the water. There we go. This, this guy does not hear anything happening. He just got punched by his co-worker, and he's like, yeah, this is a regular day for me. You go off there. Oh, I can't assassinate, I'm in danger. Hey, can you guys drown already? I need to assassinate someone. Alright, thank you. There we go. But yeah, this gives you a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna do with, uh... With actual players. Ooh. Wow. 16 HP. Wait, that's actually kind of good. 16 HP boots. And there's another chest down there, but I think I... Yeah, it's just kind of in the rock there. I'm gonna have to wait for a second. Meanwhile, let me train my agility. There we go. Uh, Slightly better pauldron. That's good. Ooh, wait. That's the good hat. That's the good uh, helmet that is apparently here. Black steel helm. 14 HP. Good. Wait, oh, I don't have the fortitude for it. Oh, another one. Still can't use it though. 19 HP, yeah, that these helmets are good. Usually it would take me like 30 minutes of grinding high for like a 19 HP helmet. And the great thing about these events is that they're just everywhere. Like, look, there's this one right there. There's probably going to be another one just past this render distance. I'm not going to go focus on these events though. I'm going to go get Ophelus. You know, some people say that, man, Larry 2 was just like two new islands and a couple reworks. But like, like, come on, let's be honest, that is one big island right there. And it has like a fully mapped out interior as well. Alright, well anyways, we're at Miner's Landing now. Uh, the person I need to see is actually over this way. Ooh, agility increase. And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab all like the little chests that's scattered around here. 9 HP scarf. That's good. There's a lot of just small chests scattered around Miner's Landing. That is, it's almost even optimal to just farm this if you want enchants. 
Uh, 8 HP and 7% physical armor, okay. I'm just putting on the best HP gear I have right now. Let me check behind here. Oh, yep, that's a lot of stuff. This is one of my favorite spots to just, like, farm. Well, anyways, the person we need to actually speak to is inside this little secret log entrance. This guy right here. Uh, before I talk to him, let me just... Ah, one without purpose. I can sense your lack of direction. Tell me, what ideals do you follow? Or oaths, perhaps? I walk my own path. Very admirable. Do you seek a ch change of heart, traveler? One day, do you aspire to take an oath of your own, or do you have your mindset walk in your own path? Yeah, I read that right. I will stay on my own path. Oh, dear disciple, I can assist you then. Seek out my three disciples alone, scattered across the Isles of Eretel. Since I don't feel like exploring the entire map and finding those guys, I actually have the wiki pulled up here. So now I need to go to Fort Merritt, Meteor Isles, and Summer Isles. And I think the closest right now would be Fort Merritt. Oh, I just need one more agility for 90. But before I leave Miner's Landing, I'm gonna go grab the rest of the chests. Ooh, wow, 3 star Rosen's Peacemaker. I mean, I'm not medium weapon, so that kinda sucks. Oh, hey, power increase. My agility increased. Swift rebound, low blow. Wait, ah, dude, all of these are so good. I need a low blow, though. That's, like, essential to my build. Can I get Spine Cutter back? No? Okay. I'll take Unwavering Resolve. Why not? Oh, come on, I can't get Spine Cutter back? Well, that kind of sucks. I had to pass on Spine Cutter. Okay. And last one. Look at all the stuff I got after like one run of this this place. There's all the like the little chests scattered around the place. Five minutes later. Okay, here we are. Hopefully I'm not like listed as a bounty. Cool. Dude, dude these guys always like pull out their weapons when they're when you're like not looking at them and just jump scare you. Alright, so I'm not really sure where this guy is supposed to be. But it says right here, uh, in a house near the elevator, and the elevator is just right there, so. No, not this one. Oh, hey. Those eyes, you wish to walk alone too. I am a disciple of Cerulean, an oathless wanderer. It seems this is sufficient to Cerulean's guidance. Do return to him once you've spoken to all three of us. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought you were going to give me something cool, but alright. Maybe, maybe I have to like collect three pieces of like a sphere or something, I don't know. Well anyways, the next one is at Meteor Isles, which I am- I for, kind of forgot where Meteor Isles is to be honest. Okay, apparently Meteor Isles is supposed to be just like right around this place, which is pretty convenient for me. Wow, my computer is getting loud. I don't think it likes that I'm running max graphics while also recording. Okay, let me just let it uh, calm down a little bit. <laughs> now we're on the Roblox plastic graphics. Okay, so it's supposed to be just to the left of the blister rift, which is just right here. And wow, I cannot see anything with low graphics. Let me pump that up to a 9. Alright, I think I have to go to the left. So I'm gonna go over here real quick. Hopefully Meteor Isles is somewhere around here. Oh, I see a little windmill thing. Oh, hey, it's Meteor Isles. Oh wait, isn't this like the um, the mud skipper event that comes out of like the sky from nowhere? Yeah, these are one of the mud skipper knights. Let me just beat the hell out of them. What the? Why is there a forty guy here? Hey, what I do? What I do? I didn't do anything to you guys. Stop spamming ice daggers on me. Man, you got. Oh my god. I am actually on no HP. Why are these guys so lethal? Are they still chasing me? No. Alright, cool. Bro, what was that? They like eviscerated my HP. Alright, let me just go in here and heal up. So according to the wiki, I should be going into the house of a cauldron at Meteor Isles to talk with the guy. That's gonna be kind of tough with everything wanting to kill me. I think I'm gonna have to try and stealth my way through everybody. Which is fitting for my assassination build. I'm real sneaky.
Is this the house of the cauldron? I can't tell. Here, hold on. Let me just get a... Come up here real quick. Which one is the house of the cauldron? Oh, crap. They see me. I'm not here. Go away. Can they lose aggro? I don't think they can. This guy is very keen on trying to get me. I just want to talk to your Ophelous guys. Is there like a referee set around you? Hey, what the... Okay, alright, alright, man. Okay, alright, okay. I'm a. Uh, they have foiled my plans. I must retreat to where they can no longer see me. Five minutes later. What? Hey, what the? Why is there a refresher here? I mean, I guess this is Hive after all. I was just not expecting to see a refresher just right there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Grab the chest. Master Hawk's hand axe. Nothing really good, honestly. That miner's landing run made everything seem so much worse in comparison. Alright, second attempt at stealth. Oh, maybe they're distracted. Yeah, they're distracted right now. I'm gonna run in. Uh, is this with the cauldron? No, no cauldron. Is that the one the cauldron? No cauldron, this is the inn. Why would I set my inn here? No cauldron, okay, alright, come on. I gotta go quickly before they finish fighting. Oh, cauldron. There you are. Uh, those eyes, blah blah blah. Yeah, I know what you're gonna say. Let me get out of here. Okay, alright, that's my stealth mission done. See ya guys. Alright, well, I'm gonna head over to Summer Isles now, where the last guy is. But... I'm still gonna pick up some XP along the way. Ooh, XP. I love XP. I should probably get good rep with the Etrus guys. There we go. Everybody's dead. Would have been much easier if I could just assassinate all of them. Hey, positive Etrus. I mean, neutral Etrus rep. Unless layer 2 changed things real weirdly, Summer Isle should be right over there. What is that? You guys see that? Is it right there? Looks like a door to me, but I'm not sure. Okay guys, I think that turned out to be bamboo. Never mind. So according to the wiki, they should be at the inn, which is right here. Maybe upstairs? Oh, there they are. Those eyes, blah blah blah. Yep. And that's all the people I need to talk to. Which means now I gotta go back to uh, whatever it's called, Miner's Landing. But I also want to fix my armor, so I'm gonna visit their blacksmith. Uh, repair my armor, there we go. They should really start giving, like, proper, not broken armor to people. And we're back. Wow, somebody cut down all the trees around here. Looking much less... What is it, green? I, I can't really say green because it's like spring right now. And it's not green whatsoever. I mean autumn, my bad. Time to claim my Ophelus. That sounds kind of weird to say. Traveler, it is a pleasure to see you once more. Have you found my disciples? I have met the three disciples. Then listen with your utmost focus. Taking an oath is not a decision to make lightly. This shall permanently affect your path in this life. Do you understand? Well, I mean, not, not all that permanent since you can just young show wish it. But whatever. Very well, do you d wish to become Ophelous, vowing to follow your own path? This decision is final. Except if you have a young show wish. There we go. 10 HP and plus 2 wildcard slots. I had to do so much work just to get Ophelous, that's crazy. I didn't actually get to read all the cards. Like, all the description on the cards, so let me just go check that out real quick. Oh, it doesn't actually say like the 15% less damage from uh, Oath Mantras on here. Man, that's weird. They should probably put down the description. Alright, it's been a good day in between the last recording and this recording. Uh, I kind of just took a, like, a bit of a break because I wasn't... I was just not feeling like it. But yeah, I'm back. And I have completely forgotten what I was just doing here at Miner's Landing. But I do know what I want to do right now, and that's to get some armor. Because this Voidwalker armor, it does not look all that good. Well, I mean, right now it's kind of getting covered up by my Etris Siege Kiras, if that's how you pronounce it. Sounds like a French word to me, not gonna lie. Oh, yep, I called it French. 
queer ass. <clears throat> queer ass. Yeah, I think I got that. That that was pretty good, I think. Well, anyways, I'm trying to get out of this like Void Walker outfit and into something that actually looks like what Elis is wearing. But since Elis's armor isn't really obtainable, I'm gonna have to find a substitute. So I'm on the Deep Woken Wiki right now on the outfits page. I'm gonna try and see which one would be the most similar to Elis's outfit. The most distinctive trait is just that she has like one arm without any just nothing on it. I mean the Navian Nomad robes look pretty good. They have like one arm and like pretty simple clothing on the side. Alright, let's let's keep looking. Uh I mean the Navian War Chief. Ah nah, that, that looks so goofy, dude. I don't think Elis is gonna have like an entire like fur coat or whatever that's supposed to be. Wow, is there only really those two options? I guess I'm just gonna have to go with the Nomad. It's like the Navian War Chief one, but like a uh, better. Okay, I guess I'm becoming a Nomad then. So according to the wiki, they sell them at the Navian Nomad camp, which you know that's kind of obvious. So I'm gonna just head back over to Etrus real quick. Okay, hold on, I'm getting a better boat. This sucks. Yep, this is much better. Man, this boat looks so cool when you have like all the sails pointing to the left. It's like one of those like Chinese ships you would see in like textbooks and whatnot. Five minutes later. Hey guys, I have made a bit of a discovery. I have the schematic this right here. Alright, I guess that saves me a trip to like Etris. What the? Yo, who deconstructed the damn merchant ship? Oh. This is... I don't think this is how a boat works. I'm just saying. I don't think you can just like remove the entire bow or whatever it's called. It's just like the bottom of the ship. Ooh, Vagabond's Bicorn. That looks cool. Oh, that is actually really good. 14 HP. And it looks stylish. And not so much with this hair. Bro, what? <laughs> is that an artifact in the water? Yo, who put this here? Actually, wait, no. It's Nobody even put it here since it still has like the little uh, glowing aura. I guess it was just in this week's update. Well, I'm gonna put this artifact right here and hope nobody steals it because I need to go get some aerosaur. Actually, better idea. I'm just gonna move it down here. Boom, perfect. Wow, my stealth is insane. How did that guy not see me? He, used to, he like turned around, looked directly at me in the eyes, and is like, yeah, I don't see that person. Whoa, Man, I hate these mud skippers. Why are they so tanky, bruh? And no, I don't hate them for their skin color. Ever since I got clipped trying to say not to, not to Ghanis, I've never been the same. Come on, I have seven aerosaur. I just need like one more. Oh, there it is. Alright. Now I have eight aerosaur. And what's next on the ingredients list? Two frigid prison. Oh my. I'm gonna have to go to Etris either way. You know, it's kind of funny how the armor that that's for like the Navian Nomads need frigid prisms, which you mostly get from killing Navian Nomads. It's like they ask you, "Hey, welcome to the club. So, how'd you get your uh, how'd you get your hands on those robes exactly?" Uh, uh, you know, it's nice that we have like a bunch of new sea events and all, but <laughs> those are they're just leaving like a bunch of chests in the air. And also, wait. SOMEBODY TOOK MY ARTIFACT! Man... You know, now that I think about it, I should have probably put it in like the wall or something. That would have been much safer. Pro tip, if you ever want to hide an artifact, just uh, put it in a wall and hopefully you remember where it is. Oh, my stealth is crazy. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I forgot I have neutral rep with Etris now. Oh, hello. Is that Guts? No notes, please. Okay. Here, I'll give you a... Because you said please, I'll give you 100. Alright. Now this is the perfect time to do like an epic stealth mission type of thing. Oh. Wow, they just get one-shotted? Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, I guess I'll just do this the traditional way then. 
walking very non-suspiciously whilst crouching. Okay, never mind. Alright, time to go to loud mode. This will work just fine. I don't really mind. I'm getting my frigid prisms either way. One dead. Okay. Well, I got my frigid prisms. I only really needed like two frigid prisms, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let them go. Alright, got that turned in. Uh I need yeah, I still need cloth and fiber. Can they please put like the fiber just right here? <laughs> like come on, there's even like a space for it. I don't wanna walk all the way to like whatever it's called, like the central convenience store thing. Okay. Got my fiber, time to run all the way back. Alright, now let's see how this looks. Uh, I mean, hold on, pull up, pull up like a picture right next to me. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not like, it's not good either. Can we petition to get Elis' armor in the actual game? That thing looks too cool to not be in the game. I mean, maybe it's not in the game because it's like, only for like female characters and that would be kind of weird so that might be the reason why they didn't add like elis's armor anyways if you enjoyed the video and you want to get like notified for the second episode then subscribe and then, yeah this is going to be the end of the first episode i'm probably going to do some more bounties next episode since i didn't even do one today